So I have a old Craftsman C3 lithium battery, 19.2 volts, that I use on my Craftsman cordless power tools. And I have about eight different tools I use and stuff. This is an old battery. It will not keep a charge um, for any length of time. It's will last a few minutes and then it gives out but it's quite old it's probably well started giving out about after just after five years of use <clears throat> and I use it at home but I use them quite a bit and uh, I think it's closer to 10 years now this has been sitting around but I'd like to uh, see if I can replace these the batteries inside that is not the uh, not the whole thing, but the actual batteries and just replace the batteries. So what I've done is I've opened it up and there's four screws in each corner that hold it and then the top comes off and it kind of looks like this. I've started to pull it out, pull out the battery compartment. So it's a little raised here, but uh, But uh, five batteries are underneath here, as you can see. And I've already pulled another one apart. And uh, I'm not sure what the actual uh, amp hour is on this and stuff, these old ones. But uh, you can see that. But I was able to get a hold of at my Walmart. There's some uh, there on the clearance aisle. Um, I think it was for all the garden and uh, oh, solar lights and stuff. They had these um, reduced. Um, I think they were like eight dollars something like that so it's about two dollars a battery they were on clearance and you can pick these up uh, at the end of summer and stuff it's, I've seen them several years in a row now and I finally saw some and I picked a bunch up but uh, and I need for this one battery project I need five so I had needed at least two packages to get at least five out of it um, but these are a uh, Westinghouse 18650 2000 milliamp rechargeable. So I was going to try these out and see if I can replace the uh, batteries within my old old pack here. So what I have done already is I have pulled out the individual batteries. In the pack and I have removed this there's four uh, I think it's four screws that basically hold this down yeah four screws that basically hold this down and I have put in five Western uh, Westinghouse batteries the new ones and uh, I also marked them here if you can see so they are in series so they are and you can see it on this one here this is the positive end, this is the negative end down here, and they are in series. So same here, negative end, positive end. So I'm going to try and put this back together, and it's just basically um, two screws hold this together, and it comes apart, separated into two, and it just kind of holds the, the pack together as one battery pack instead of five. And so I need to put the screws back in basically on this and then uh, I can start attaching it back to this. Um, and I also need to reattach the connectors. Now those were, um, what do they call them, uh, spot welded on stuff. I don't have a spot welder. I'm going to try and attach them without doing it. And uh, you can see I used uh, some effort to get them off. I'm going to try and put them back on and uh, attach them without spot. Well, 
here as you can see I'm just attaching the, the second of two screws here just to hold this whole thing battery set together it's just two pieces of plastic to hold the set of five together and there we go so and again you can see positive and negative positive negative positive So next I'm going to I think this is a temperature controller. It just goes back behind here. It's in there. There. That sits there. Trying to bend those in so they make contact, but <laughs> I think those are doing pretty good now. And then <clears throat> Now I'll work a little bit more with this and I'll have to show you everything but I'm going to try and get these connected on this side and then we'll uh, go on to the next step. Okay, so like I said I don't have a uh, spot welder but I have used uh, aluminum and aluminum tape and I use the aluminum tape because uh, not because it's necessarily conductive but it's uh, holding the aluminum on Tin foil, aluminum tin foil that is, and uh, it's holding it on and it really sticks well. So that's why I'm using that. It sticks uh, pretty good, and uh, I'm getting a voltage, so that seems to be good. I'm well over 10 volts. I do need to charge this, but 
I'm going to put this together now inside this and uh, we're going to move forward and uh, put the cover on. That just takes uh, four screws. So I'll put that on and uh, we'll check it out here shortly. All right, be right back. So I'm getting over 19 volts on this. Now I can stick the uh, cover on. So we'll start doing that here and I'll be right back with you. Yep, that works. Oh. It says it's already charged. Cool. All right, anyways. So, so you can change the batteries without using a spot welder. That's good to know. Um, a spot welder would be better, but it would cost me more to buy something and uh, than it would be just to buy a new battery. So it was better for me to go this route. And uh, again, I used to have aluminum and aluminum tape, the aluminum to make it conductive and the aluminum tape just to really make it stick well so that's what that is so anyways again this is a c3 old c3 it's 10 15 years old i don't know how long i've had it but it's been sitting around quite a while and they usually start to get given out after about five years of use as far as my use so anyways it's got a new battery back so that's good um, and this is the one I, I had tape on the bottom because it was not working correctly. So anyways, hope you like this. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I know there's other videos out there with different ways to do it. I thought this is a little bit different and a little bit uh, old school, faster and cheaper. So just wanted to let you uh, to know and show you. Thank you. Please subscribe.